Hello everybody, welcome back to the Premiere Pro tutorial. This one I'm going to show you how to create a highlighter effect just like this and I'm going to show you in about 60 seconds. So let's just get started. Here we go. I'm going to delete this as I, as we do. I'll delete this as well. What the first step is, we want to create a new sequence file, new sequence like I've just done there. And then for this one, we're going to go with a 1920 by 1080. Good enough. The next step is we're going to drag and drop in our newspaper. And our newspaper, I'm just going to zoom in here. I'm just moving this a little bit so I can see. It's a bit too big for the sh screen, so I'm going to go ahead and just reduce the size a little bit to something like that. Okay, good. Now, what we got to do next is we got to go over here to our project panel and click on this new item. If you don't see it, because you might be zoomed in like this, just zoom, pull this out and look for the new item option. When you do that, you're going to see something called color mat. That's what we want, and it will automatically have the uh, same size settings as the sequence. That was a mouthful. So color mat, and then we're going to pick a color. So we're going to pick a nice bright yellow, like we're highlighting with bright yellow, something like that. Okay, and then I'm just going to click on OK, and it's going to create the color mat. I'm going to drag and drop the color mat on top, and just make sure that they're both about the same length. Now, obviously, this doesn't look quite right, so I'm going to click on the color mat. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start reducing the scale. So I'm going to go ahead and just reduce it to that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to unclick uniform scale because I can actually scale the height and the width. So I'm going to reduce the height quite a bit and I'm going to go for what are we going for men walk on the moon. So I'm going to go and double click on it. I'm going to move it up to right about here and then I'm going to go ahead and reduce the width a little bit something like that. And then really really importantly change the blend mode from normal. We're going to change it to in this case the best one is darken. So as soon as I see darken that's the one I'm going to select. And why don't I see it? Because it's right there at the top. Of course it is. Okay, good. So there we go. We've selected it to darken. Now I'm going to go ahead and sort of, I don't know, maybe I'm going to maybe add a little bit more to the width. What do you see? Something like that. Yeah, that's a little better. Okay, 94. Good enough. Okay, now grab this. This is the anchor point tool. Make sure that you've got the circle here with the, with the arrows on it. And then move this to the very left side, somewhere around here. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna animate it now. Now I'm making sure your playhead is at the beginning. We've moved the anchor point, and now we're gonna go ahead and adjust the scale. So before I do anything, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the scale width, and I'm gonna go ahead and set a keyframe. Left click on that, and then watch this. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna take this down to zero, or thereabouts, and then I've got no highlighter and then I'm going to go forward to say I don't know say it takes one second let's go to the one second mark something like that yeah sure something like that one second there we go and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move this out to the end and then what's going to happen is we're going to have a one second animation there she goes and then just to be extra careful you can go ahead and select these and kind of ease them in and out so this one is going to be eased in and then the first one is going to be eased out and that just adds a little bit more uh, smoothness to the animation. That's all you need to know. Thanks for watching. Ton more stuff coming up.